My name is Jeffrey Seglin. I'm a lecturer in public policy and the director of the communications program at the Harvard Kennedy School. I have a book that was published in January 2016 called uh, The Simple Art of Business Etiquette, How to Rise to the Top by Playing Nice, which was published by Tycho Press. Um, that's what I'm going to talk about uh, for the next few minutes. Um, sort of a little bit of background about how the book evolved. Uh, since 1988, 1998, I've been writing a ethics column called The Right Thing, first for the Sunday New York Times business section, and then it moved to the uh, become a weekly column for the New York Times syndicate, and now it's being published by uh, and distributed by the Tribune Media. Um, in the column, I cover everything from business ethics to everyday ethical decision making. Uh, their column resulted in a couple of earlier books. One was called The Good Bad in Your Business, uh, Choosing Right When Ethical Dilemmas Pull You Apart. And another was called The Right Thing, which was a collection of uh, several years of the early column. Um, the new book is uh, basically about how to behave in business without being a jerk. So it's about business etiquette. The idea uh, behind the title, The Simple Art of Business Etiquette, is that just because something is simple doesn't always mean it's easy, as judged by the fact that many people have a hard time learning how to behave in business without being a jerk. So the book covers everything from meetings and interviews to dealing with difficult bosses to romance in the workplace. Um, it looks at the right way to use social media and uh, the right way to manage boundaries between personal and professional um, work lives. Uh, each chapter starts with, um, the way the book has been structured, each chapter starts with some basic descriptions of business etiquette, and then there are short cases that bring these descriptions to life, and then there's a multiple choice quiz that uh, readers are asked to take to sort of choose the right answer, and then after that um, I come back in and sort of give an explanation for what the best right answer might be. Uh, the book was written in a way that it's um, supposed to be engaging, so a lot of the multiple choice in the cases are full with some humor and a bit of uh, whimsy. Um, one of the reasons I wrote the book was that there seems to be a need for civility, both in business and in public life, and uh, yet people seem a little bit lost about how to get to that point of civility. So I'd like those who read the book uh, to use it as a guide for how to make decisions in the workplace and how to behave with respect to uh, all of their coworkers. Um, the intended audience um, is that I, uh, I'm told it would be a terrific book for anyone starting out in the business world, but I'd also like to think it would be good for managers and bosses and owners of businesses as well, and perhaps politicians who could use a lesson or two in civility. Um, one of the things I tried to do in the book is to avoid the preachiness or the high-handedness of many other books on business etiquette. So the humor that I use here is meant to diffuse some of the stuffiness that's included in other books on etiquette. Um, one of the things that's happened, um, as it, the book's only been out for a few weeks, but one of the things that started to happen is that um, people have begun posing with the book and sending me pictures of them. So I started getting photos of New York City police officers on duty reading the book, uh, pictures of deans of colleges, pic pictures of high school students, pictures of pretzel vendors all reading the book and telling me that they're trying to get etiquette. So I've begun to paste those. Uh, through social media on Facebook and, and Twitter. Um, so people continue to send me those, those photos, which was something that was unforeseen and they keep coming regularly every day, uh, which has resulted in me having an expanded email box. Um, the, the, uh, the reception has been pretty strong so far from various reviewers and um, I think the sales have been good. Um, it's made um, within the first couple weeks has been on one of the iBook or the electronic book bestseller lists on Publishers Weekly. So the, the takeaway is that the book is a quick read and it's full of hands-on advice and information um, such as guiding workers to never punch coworkers in the face um, and other advice about how to quit jobs gracefully and um, the not knowing not to punch someone in the face is pretty obvious. Uh, quitting a job gracefully is a little less obvious. Um, so that's it. That's the new book. Um, this is it. Um, and I hope you're curious enough to uh, take a look. And if you take a picture of yourself and email it to me reading the book, I will post it around. Thank you very much.